Faults in a network as large as ours are inevitable and unpredictable, which can sometimes impact our customers through temporary service interruptions, messy overflows or traffic disruptions. As a network technician, we're usually the first people to arrive on site to assess the situation. Our role involves overseeing the site to determine what is required and to make sure everyone is safe. We then follow a set procedure to ensure the site is prepared for the repair work that follows. When an issue occurs, we receive notification on our phones, to our radios or through our work order app. This provides details on what has happened and where. Incidents are commonly leaks and small breaks, typically resulting from environmental factors that cause the soil to move due to excessive rain or heat. On arrival, it is essential that we make the site safe. We then put in place traffic management controls to keep everyone working on the repair safe too. A vital part of our role is to isolate the water and shut off the application to help our customers' support teams understand who may be temporarily without service. Once the water is isolated, we mark the affected assets and request the crew to dig down and reveal the mains. Repair work is complex and poses dangers. Our crews must work below ground level on a pressurised system that's often near other services, such as gas mains or electricity cables. Main disruptions located near gas and electrical services may also require hydro excavation to avoid further damage to ensure crew safety. The site is then ready for repairs. Once we're notified the repairs are complete, we get the okay to recharge the water main. This means the water becomes available and flows through the main again. This stage involves opening the fire hydrant at the highest point to expel any air or debris. Then we start opening the lowest valve and say hello to the water again. Once the water is clean and all the air is out, we then shut the fire hydrant and check with the repair crews to ensure there are no further leaks. Once this final check is complete, we can open all remaining valves to complete this process. After repairing the main and depending on the location, the hole will be filled or left as exposed rubble until permanent reinstatement can be carried out. With this teamwork, the incident resolved. Our use of a smart network, which uses sensors to monitor pressure and water flow around the Adelaide CBD, has helped to identify anomalies within the system before they result in breaks. Technology is definitely our friend.